because people say things about us, we start to believe that. But Mr. Turner was right. Every once in a while, when people start saying things about you, you have to ask yourself, but who am I? And you have to know who you are because that knowledge in and of itself will get you through some very hard days and some very dark days if you know by yourself who you are. On those times when things got hard and dark, I leaned into my faith, but I also leaned on my colleagues. And it's interesting because I say this all the time. The number one question I get from children is, how do you like your job? And how many hours do you work? And what do you do? But the number one questions I get from adults is, are you and Caleb Kirshner really close? <laughs> and the answer is we are. And over the past four months, I leaned into Caleb Kirshner quite a bit. And I knew for a fact that Caleb Kirshner was praying for me every single day. You lean on your colleagues despite political positions or political parties because after that and before all that, you're people first. This past four years has been very, very rewarding, but also very, very challenging. And sometimes people see us as a board, but they don't really get that we're individuals. We're individuals that like each other and at some point love each other. My colleague who's leaving the board and stepping down, Tony Buffington, over the past four years, he didn't just get married, he got married and, and gave us Christina and, and gained four children. Tony and I are not just friends, we're close friends. I love Tony Buffington, literally, I love Tony Buffington. <laughs> My colleague Karan Sainz got married and had a baby this, this term, it's wonderful. My colleague Caleb Kirshner and his wife had three children in one term. Three. And in doing so, actually sent one back to God. And I remember the morning Caleb called me and told me that he said, I was holding her in my arms. She went straight from her earthly father's arms to her heavenly father's arms. Caleb is my friend. Doesn't matter his political party. Doesn't matter that I always don't agree with him. He's my friend. And when he had a crisis in his life, I stood with him. And then later on, he stood with me. Because that is what you do when you're called to serve. I think the one thing we didn't do quite as well. Oh, by the way, my colleague Julie Brixman received, got a, got a diagnosis of breast cancer, fought it, and now is in remission. And she did that with all of our supports because that's what you do. <laughs> if I think there's one thing we didn't do as well as we should have, is be more supportive to our school board colleagues. And for school board colleagues who are now leaving, I apologize for that. We should have been more supportive to you. We should have reached out more and helped you along the way because what the school board just faced was unfortunate and unfair. Now, I'm not saying that we didn't have issues with our schools, because we obviously did. We had things that needed to be fixed, but the truth is, and school board, my school board colleagues hear me well, whenever we have a child in our school system that is hurting for any reason, whether that be physically, emotionally, or spiritually, you cannot ignore that hurt. You have got to respond to that child's pain. But at the same time, the pain of that child should never be politicized for political purposes. And it was this past four years. And we didn't support our school board colleagues enough when that was happening. We apologize for that. We're going to change that this term. Yeah. It is impossible to look at Loudoun County stats and not think that we are an incredibly, incredibly successful county. It's just impossible highest income in the country, literally in the country. Lowest unemployment rate almost in the entire country. Our school board has one of the best school systems just by the stats and data in the country. Now then that is who we are. We are doing the work. We are doing the hard things. And so when people look at our county and say things about us that you know is not true, do the same thing that I do when people look at me and say things about me that I know is not true. Look at us as a county and say, who are we? Who are we? 
What do we need to improve? What's going well? Who are we? I will tell you who we are. We are committed. We are strong. We are empathetic. We are smart. We are involved. We are giving. We are caring. We are loving. We are strong. We are Loudoun County strong. That is who we are every single day, every single minute. We are Loudoun County strong, and this did not happen by accident. We have the people, we have the staff. Praise God, we have the resources to be Loudoun County strong. So Loudoun, I say all the time, we go forward. And right now, we draw a line in the sand and we say anything that comes to hurt or harm us, whether it comes from inside the house or not, we go forward. We go forward united, we go forward with faith, and we go forward with strength. Because we are Loudoun County strong every day of the week. Thank you and God bless you. Come here. 